But it was many years ago when Kathy first discovered her love of running, competing in her first race at the tender age of six. In her youth, she would run 12 laps barefoot around a grassy track on a regular basis. Her mother would encourage her to write out, I am the world's greatest athlete, an affirmation which was to ring true some years later. When she was 13, she told her school guidance counsellor that her vocational plan was to win Olympic gold, a plan that was to see fruition down the track. When Cathy turned 16, she was selected to run at the Commonwealth Games, winning a gold medal as part of the 4x100 metre relay team. That win only fueled the desire to strive harder towards the ultimate gold, the elusive gold medal in an Olympic Games. When the 2000 Sydney Olympic Games finally came around, Cathy was ready to realise that goal. At the opening ceremony, Cathy was the star attraction, lighting the flame in spectacular circumstances. And what followed was everything she had ever dreamed of. With over 100,000 people chanting her name and running in a specially designed one-piece suit, Cathy flew home to win gold in the 400 metres final. The most famous Indigenous face in Australia and well-loved on and off the track, Cathy made the Sydney Olympics her own. Cathy also shined outside of athletics, receiving an honorary doctorate from the University of Ballarat. Cathy, draped in academic garb, looked a bit uncomfortable away from her familiar surroundings, but was proud of her success. She was presented with a doctorate from the university during the ceremony, with officials praising Cathy's determination and willingness to tackle challenges and her remarkable achievements. Cathy has given plenty back to the community, especially programs involving Indigenous children. Along with other sporting stars like Australian swimmer Dawn Fraser and former US Olympic hurdles champion Ed Moses, Cathy has given the children a goal in life. She knew that if the programs had been around when she was younger, it would have helped to define her direction in life earlier and her vision would have been so much clearer. Cathy, who was extremely proud of her heritage, ran her victory lap at the Commonwealth Games with the Aboriginal flag before taking the Australian flag as well. Even though it ignited much discussion, she raised awareness regarding Aboriginal and race relations. And it was those actions that made Cathy a role model for young and old, having been awarded the title of Young Australian of the Year and the following year Aboriginal Athlete of the Year. It had been many years since Australia had their very own track star and after Sydney they had found their new hero in Cathy Freeman. A down-to-earth person and a fierce competitor, Cathy has been a genuine star.